Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about finding the rate of increase and decrease. So this is the part 4 or the continuation of our discussion about base rate and percentage. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe na rin kayo. So how to solve the rate of increase and decrease? So mapapansin natin meron tayong Q sub 2 and Q sub 1. So, anong ibig sabihin ng Q sub 2 and Q sub 1 dyan? So, yung Q sub 1, that is the original quantity. And the Q sub 2, that is the new quantity. So, kapag kukunin natin yung rate of increase and decrease, ang gagawin lang natin, isasubtract lang natin. Una, yung new quantity natin, ima-minus natin sa original quantity and it divide natin sa uh, original quantity. So, Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 over Q sub 1. So, mapapansin natin dito sa taas, meron tayong increase and decrease. And then, mapapansin nyo, naka-enclose yung decrease natin. So, kapag naka-enclose, yung sagot natin mamaya, ibig sabihin, yung sign nun ay negative. So, hindi natin nilal nilalagay yung negative sign. Sa accounting, ang ginagawa dyan, ibig sabihin, kapag naka-enclose yung number, ang sign nun ay negative. So, yan yung mapapansin nyo mamaya. So, again, kapag uh, negative yung sagot natin, naka-enclose siya ng parenthesis. So, for example, we have Zenny's current salary is 3,600 pesos per month. So, her previous salary was 3,200 pesos. So, masyadong mababa yung salary nyo, no? What is the rate of increase in her salary? So, 3,600 is the current, current salary of Zenis. Okay? And 3,200 is the previous salary. So, kukunin natin yung rate. Okay? Ilang percent yung tinaas ng sahod ni Zeni. So, using the formula, so yung 3,600 dyan, that is our Q sub 2 or the new uh, salary or the new quantity. And the 3,200 is the Q sub 1. So, applying the formula, so 3,600 minus 3,200 divided by 3,200. So, positive naman siya. Yung sagot natin dito, positive. Kaya, wala siyang open and close parenthesis. So, kapag ganun, uh, ibig sabihin nito, positive yung sign. So, 400 divided by 3,200, the answer is 1 over 8 kapag ni lowest term natin ito. So, yung 1 8, Kapag kinonvert natin into decimal, that is 0 0.125. So, kailangan natin itong uh, gawing in percent sign. So, mag-move tayo ng two places. Pa right, 1, 2. So, dito yung decimal natin. So, ibig sabihin, that is 12.5%. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Yung sahod ni Zeni, tumaas ng 12.5%. From 3,200 naging 3,600. So, from 3,200, tumaas ng 12.5%. So, ibig sabihin yung 12.5%, since positive ito, that is, the, ito yung rate of increase. Okay? So, rate of increase yung tawag natin dito kasi positive siya. Next, this month's sales were 12,000. Last month, the sales were 15,000 pesos. Find the rate of increase or decrease. So, titignan natin. So, yung maging given natin dito, yung 12,000 is the current sales. Last month, so, this is the original, um, ano no, yung kinita, 15,000 pesos. So, yung 12,000 natin, that is the key sub 2, and yung 15,000, that is the key sub 1. Applying the formula, so, 12,000 minus 15,000 over 15,000, so, as you can see, class, naka-enclose yung 3,000 natin. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, negative yung sign nito. So, hindi natin nilalagay yung negative sign. So, sa accounting, hindi nilalagay yung negative signs. Ang nilalagay natin, naka-enclose siya ng, uh, naka -ano siya, nilalagay natin ng open and close parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin nito, negative yung sign. So, kapag dinivide natin yan, 3,000 divided by 15,000, Okay, that is 1 over 5. O kapag ni lowest term natin ito, no? So, naka-enclose pa rin yung 1 kasi negative yan. And, or, so, 
negative 1 divided by 5, the answer is negative 0.2. So again, di natin nilalagay negative. Ang nilalagay natin is open and close parenthesis. So, ibig sabihin, negative yung sign yan. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? So, i-convert natin into percent, that is 20%. So, ano ibig sabihin ng 20%? Rate of increase ba yan or rate of decrease? So, this is a rate of decrease. Kasi, mapapansin natin kung last month daw, 15,000, tapos yung current sales nila, 12,000. So, bumaba. Bumaba ng 20% from 15,000. So, ang 20% dito ay rate of decrease. Hindi natin nilalagay na negative 20%. So, kaya nag e lang tayo dito. So, 20% yung binaba from 15,000. No? That is the uh, original or yung last month sales nila. Next, 450 pesos increased by 15% is how much? So, nandyan yung word na increase. So, yung standard nating class, ano yung standard percent natin? 100%. So, kapag nag-increase, ibig sabihin, mula dun sa uh, parang baseline kasi natin yung 100%. So, mula dun sa 100%, nag-increase daw ng 15%. So, magiging ano na siya? 115%. So, meron tayong dalawang solution. So, bahala kayo kung alin dito ang uh, mas madali para sa inyo. So, solution number one, ang kukunin natin, first, ilagay natin yung price na 450000 So, this is the original price, no? Plus, since nag-increase daw yung price na to ng 15%, so 450 times 15%, i-add natin dun sa original amount. So, 450 plus, so, i-convert natin yung 15% into decimal, that is 0 0.15 times 450, the answer is 67.5. So, kung kukunin natin yung total amount, 450 plus 67.5, the answer is 517.5 pesos. So, yung 450, no, nag-increase ng 15%, so, yung the uh, in increase yung amount is 67.5. So kung kukunin natin yung total that is 517.5 pesos na. So that is the uh, 15% no nung nadagdag. Ito yung 15% na dinagdag dun sa 450 pesos kasi nag-increase. Merong another way kung paano natin sinosolve to. Okay, using solution number 2 so, x is equal to 450 times 115%. So, again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung baseline natin is 100%. So, kung nag-increase ng 15%, dadagdagan lang natin yung 100 ng 15%. So, maging 115%. So, that will become, so, i-convert natin into decimal. So, mag, pag nag-convert tayo from percent to decimal, mag-move naman tayo pabalik, papuntang left side ng two places. So, Nandito na ngayon. So, 1.15. 450 times 1.15. The answer is 517.5 pesos. So, same lang sila. So, bahala kayo kung alin sa dalawang solution ang mas madali para sa inyo. Pero, tingin ko ito, mas uh, better itong gamitin yung solution number 2. Mas madali. Another, 648 decrease by 20% is how many? So, nandyan yung salitang decrease. So, ibig sabihin, bumaba. Okay, bumaba. So, ano ulit yung baseline natin? 100%. So, kung bumaba yan, so magiging 80% na lang. Tama? So, sa solution number 1, from 648, since decrease, so minus ang gagamitin natin, bumaba siya, kukunin natin yung 20% ng 648. So, yung 20% ng 648 is 129.6. So, yan yung binaba nung uh, pera o yung amount ko ano man yan so kung 648 minus the 20% of 648 so 648 minus 129.6 the answer is 518.4 so ito yung solution number 1 ano naman yung solution number 2 so since 100% yung baseline natin at nag decrease ng 20% ilan na lang yung gagamitin natin 80% so, 648 times 80%. Kasi nag-decrease, di ba? 
So kanina kung makikita nyo, increase yon So nagdagdag tayo from 100% ito decrease from 100% nagbawas tayo ng 20 so kaya 80% na lang so 648 times 0.80 the answer is 518.4 pesos so pareho, pareho lang sila so bahala kayo sa dalawang, kung saan sa dalawang solution yung pinakamadali another problem so 20% more than what number is 600 so 20% more than so pag more than ibig sabihin nag increase Tama? Nag-increase ng 20%. So, from the baseline na 100, so, nag-increase ng 20%. So, 120% na yun. Okay? So, the given is 600 pesos. That is the percentage. And the rate is 120%. Again, paano naging 120%? Since nag-increase ng 20%, so, from 100 to 20, ay, from 100, dagdagan natin ng 20, so, that is 120% or 1.20%. So, that is percentage divide rate. So, 600 divided by 1.20. So, the answer is 500. So, ibig sabihin, 20% more than what number? The answer is 600. So, that is 500. So, yung 500 nag-increase ng 2. Yung 500 nag-increase ng 20%. So, the amount is 600. Next, okay, last semester's enrollment was 1,800. Find the current semester's enrollment if the rate of decrease is 15%. So, the key sub 1 or the last semester enrollment is 1,800 pesos. And then, yung rate natin dito is 15%. This is the rate of decrease. Kasi bumaba, you know? So, nakalagay naman dito, if the rate of this decrease is 15%. So, using the formula, so ang formula natin kanina, rate of increase or decrease is equal to Q sub 2 minus Q sub 1 over Q sub 1. So, ang rate of decrease natin is 15%. Isa substitute natin dito. So, lalagyan natin ng open and close parenthesis kasi decrease. So, ibig sabihin negative yung sign nito. So, Q sub 2 minus yung Q sub 1 natin is 1,800 divided by 1,800. So, paano natin kukunin yung Q sub 2? So, multiply natin 15% times 100. Uh, 15% times 1,800 is equal to Q sub 2 minus 1,800. And then, 15% uh, ng 1,800 is 270. Again, yung 270 dito, 70 dito negative yung sign nito. Okay? So, pag kukunin na natin yung Q sub 2, pag kukunin natin yung Q sub 2, so pag nilipat natin siya, uh, pag nilipat natin yung 1,800 dito, magiging positive na yung 1,800 plus 270. So again, naka-enclose pa rin ito. Ibig sabihin, negative ang sign niyan. Okay? Negative yung sign. So 1,800 plus negative 270, the answer is 1,530. So that is the uh, rate. Okay, so anong tina the current semester enrollment if the rate of this grade. So ito yung current. Okay, so ito yung current number ng enrollment, 1,530. So, and then, next is, okay, ano yung another solution dito na mas madali? So, kung nag-decrease tayo ng 15% mula sa 100%, di ba? 85%, no? Ibig sabihin, 85% yung gagamitin natin. So, 1,000, ito yung solution number 2. 1,800 times 85%. Bakit? Kasi from 100% na baseline natin, nagbawas ng 15%, nabawasan ng 15%, so 85% na lang. So, ito yung another way. So, 1,800 times 0.85, the answer is 1,530. Same pa rin sila. Okay, so dito pinakita lang natin, para malinaw sa inyo, kung paano natin kukunin yung current enrollment. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math Channel.